Oh goddess. Oh Bhagavad. I shall never pray to you for anything else but the excellent service of your lotus feet. I offer my constant obeisances to the idea of becoming your friend. But I really relish the idea of becoming your maid servant. I will read a small part from yesterday, just to, that we catch the flow. Srila Ramay Thakur inquired from Srimati Janava Thakurani about this Bhavalasarati. Bhavalasarati, sorry. Bhavalasarati. <coughs> Ramai Thakur said, Please tell me more about Bhavala Sarati. Mother Janava said, Listen carefully. O son, Bhavala Sarati can only be found in Vrindavan. Vrindavana, where Kishore, adolescent Krishna, eternally sports with Kishore, adolescent Radhika, cannot be perceived even by the Devas. Shirupa Manjari and Shirati Manjari are absorbed in the ecstasy of devotional service day and night. They are all endowed with Avala Sarati and they are happy only when the divine couple is happy. They don't know anything, anything else but that. This is uh, interesting because they are not happy if they are not happy. So, Manjari is not happy if Radha and Krishna are not happy. And this is so natural. When you love someone, their happiness is important to you. And you cannot be happy if they are not happy. When you really love someone, you want to see the smile on their face. <coughs> Always. You will do things for that person. You will do seva, loving seva to the person you love. Just to see that person happy. And when you don't see the happiness on the face of that person, you will want to understand why that person <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Why that person is not happy? You will inquire, or if you are, your connection is so deep, you will understand. You will understand what that makes that person happy. Same with Radhika and Manjaris. Their connection, their love is so strong that Manjaris understand Radhika. They understand what's going on. Or at least they will investigate what is going on. They will ask Radhika, Radhika, why are you now angry? 
Mario said, they know, but also they want to hear, because this is also one type of exchange. Yeah. Maybe sometimes they don't know. <laughs> Who knows? Because also Radhika makes little fun with them sometimes. And uh, then Radhika will say, oh, that black, <laughs> black boy teasing me. <laughs> so, Manja, as you think, what we can do? Yeah. Okay, let's tease him. Let's give him back. Yeah. So then they make fun. <laughs> and uh, Radhika always wins. <laughs> In some way. Because her love always wins. You remember when Radha uh, Charan was telling us the story of when Gopas met and Radhika with her friends. Matthew and Manjaris and Krishna wanted competition in wrestling. Uh, and Mr. Radhika said, no problem, let's wrestle. <laughs> but then, as all the preparation was finished, and Radhika just little removed her veil and throw side log lens towards him. <laughs> Krishna, ah. <laughs> Krishna is finished. Started shaking. <laughs> and that's it. Yeah. So she had this weapon in her arsenal. <clears throat> when nothing else works. Little look <laughs> from the side of her eyes. Finishes Krishna. But sometimes we know she don't want also that, that he's finished. But he sees him and he can't do nothing anymore. So we know that that, that she then tells to Manjar, yo, please, wake him up. <laughs> uh, remove him from this state. <coughs> so the happiness of Manjaris, just to see them happy. And that's the beauty. I was always thinking in life, you know, love. Love is that. To make someone happy. Because we are all searching for happiness. This is our nature of natural like longing happiness and love and love brings happiness so always that attitude is present naturally in in the person who loves someone to make the 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 loved person happy Parents love their child. They want to make their child happy. Sometimes too much. And then it's danger, there is danger that the child can be spoiled a little. You know? But also, if parent is smart, they will know, okay, no, the child needs to go through this to be happy after, because, so sometimes even Radhika needs to go through some emotions. Yeah, Manjaris don't like that Radhika feels sad, but they also know that this sadness or feeling of separation in Radhika is important. It's important that Radhika will feel more when she meets with Krishna. And the Manjaris will help. They will be with her when she is sad, 
они, она не будет спинать. Комфорт да. Они устроятся удобным образом. They will talk about Krishna. Sometimes Radhika could say, oh, you're talking about him. Because of him, I'm sad. <laughs> But she loves to hear. She loves to hear about Krishna. So that uh, manjari is always search a way, uh, try to find a way to make them happy. This is their nature. This is nature of love. Nature of love is trying to make happy the person you love. And manjar is love radical more than their themselves. And they're always searching for a way And when she is happy, when she is with her Mohan, they are completely equal to Srimati. <coughs> Yeah, this is very interesting. <coughs> Only their bodies <coughs> are different. <coughs> They are one soul <coughs> and one life air. <coughs> and they are all controlled <coughs> by Radha. <coughs> It's written here that Manjari is equal, not just equal, but completely equal to Sri Mata. Uh, we read in the beginning the verse 16, where it's written uh, to Simanjari Stalin, I'm always giving my obeisances to the position of your girlfriend, who is equal. Girlfriends is equal. Mm -hmm. But I'm just so much eager to be your maid servant. Maid servant in this, in this world is position is low. But he is Nantas Babaji wrote completely equal. Only it's written in Deva. Only Deva can serve Deva. Means if you won't serve means uh, to serve means Fulfill heart desires. To understand heart desires, you must be very close. Mean, means be similar, so much similar. Otherwise, if you're not close, similar, you couldn't understand the heart desires. If they will fear, uh, feel fear towards Radha, they never will be close and will never understand her heart desires, her feelings. They not different from her. This is mean complete, what they completely equal. Then Manjari coming to look where is Mohan, to bring him to Radha, to Kunja, where is Radha. She is dressed in uh, clothes which she received from Shemati Radhika as a gift. All set of decorations from the top uh, to the feet. In uncle bells, and when Krishna is hearing his uncle bells from the far, immediately his heart started boom, boom, boom. Boy, I know, I know this, this sound. That's why around, on also, on also the wind carrying your fragrance because this cloth which is, you see from Radha also has her aroma, and he can feel it. Oh, I know this around. My Radha is coming. He. Manjari she not came yet, but his passionate desire to meet Radha already grow, grow, grow. <laughs> From this point of view, she is completely equal to Srimati. <laughs> And also she looks like Srimati. Maybe it's not complete open flower, but bottom, bottom, but how's in English? But, 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 but this has a particular beauty, beauty of flower, but it's not open. I, I remember, <coughs> I heard here, the meaning of bud to increase eagerness of bumblebee for the flower. 
Uh, <coughs> and this shows us also why Manjari can resist Krishna. Because it, like the flower, if it's not open, <coughs> bumblebee cannot enter. Yeah, maybe he sees, oh, this will be flower. And he desires the flower, but he cannot, because it's closed for him. But the open flower of Radha, it's there. So in a way, when Bumblebee comes to the bush flowers and sees many buds, he will search. This one will be. This is my Radha. This is my flower. Where I want to be. So, This was actually said by Janava Devi. Now continuing commentary of Anantra Yamaji. <coughs> One who wants to relish Krishna's sweetness to the utmost must take complete shelter of Sri Radha. Sri Pad Prabhupada Saraswati writes in Radha Rasa Sudhani. Where is Radha, who is hard to perceive by following the Vedas? And where is Krishna? who always lives in between her bud-like breasts. Sri Radharani says, If you want to see my Sundara, or beautiful Krishna, you must take full shelter of my lotus feet. <coughs> What does it mean? That Sundara means... Mm, Sundara means very beautiful. Mm -hmm. And she is telling, if you want to see my Sundara, then you need to take shelter. My little mm -hmm. But it's interesting. She wants to see what ours also appreciates, how he is beautiful. <coughs> she, also, she wants to see when our will see him as a Sundra, huh. that's very How Manjali, how we will see him. But huh? says he is beautiful. Because she, she sees his, him, him very beautiful and if I love someone, I won't see what others will how to say, love him also. Mm -hmm. Maybe not uh, like I am, but because my. <laughs> but, Still, I want to see what others also see. Oh, is this person very beautiful? I will take care about it. What others will see him in a beautiful way, not in a bad way. Mm -hmm. So there, there I can see here in this verse that uh, there is this kind of big secret. Where is Radha? Where is Radha, who is hard to perceive by following the Vedas? No, one cannot find Radha in the Vedas. Even if she is there, but the only one who, who have this mood can, can see her in Vedas. Because in Vedas are described the Krishna. But we know that there is Krishna, there is also the Radha. Or we can say that in Veda is described the Krishna who is not Krishna from Raja. Krishna is Raja. 
uh, in which can be approached only by reverence, by mood of reverence. So, where is Radha who is hard to perceive by following the Vedas? And where is Krishna who always lives in between her body like breast? So, this is something what uh, we can meditate because it's, it said also uh, bad like breasts breasts like then uh, Dinadaya said before the buds just increase the eagerness of Krishna so this is why he said bad like breasts eagerness of Krishna to to receive her love. If we read that, this mm -hmm. sentence, mm -hmm. maybe we, we can just be in meditation mm -hmm. for a long time like that. Because this uh, we can also meditate in our Swarupa on this breast. Mm -hmm. Like what mm -hmm. they said. Because for Krishna, these breasts are everything. But also for Manjaris, they are everything. They are nourishing their mood. They are their shelter. Because we said before, they are not different from Radha. And they are like child of Radha, we can say. We are like child of Radha. So to meditate on this breast is like meditation of source of all our moods, of all our feelings, and it's everything for us. So this is he said that we cannot meditate or read even this sentence from the point of bodily <coughs> conception. <laughs> Otherwise we are completely out and uh, it's not possible. <laughs> but by the mercy, really of Mahachana, we have this opportunity to be somehow inside, immediately, without, without any introductions. <laughs> so it's, it's very uh, incredible that we can do that, even if we see last day, when we ask Kesha Baba to describe the I, uh, I Baba. Baba. No. Like, uh, this is English. Uh, side long We see that it is impossible completely. <laughs> and it said one who is chanting six lines. And he said, no, it is not possible actually, for, especially for our jivas who don't have any account, spiritual account. But uh, like we know Prabhupada, some devotee asked Prabhupada, uh, when he said that one can approach Krishna consciousness after many lives, Practicing. They ask him, it means that we was practicing before. From where we take this account. And, and Prabhupada says, No, I may I, I give you this account actually. Like the father gives some money to the son who can spend. So I mean this is the really deep meaning which is open for us by mercy of the Guru Deva. And it's incredible. We can speak about it even if it's so so deep and uh, this is really mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. <laughs> and we can see that uh, more we going on the in on time from the appearance of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu <laughs> seems to be that this flower is open more and more and more and more. We are more, more fortunate, mm -hmm. what I can say here, mm -hmm. even, if I, if, even from the person who was the personally present mm -hmm. in the time of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Mm -hmm. It's not that we are long, 
uh, distance. We are yes. even more on the centimeter. Yeah. Should be cold, actually. Yeah. Much, much it mm -hmm. is such a nice mm -hmm. meditation. Mm -hmm. So I think that one can mm -hmm. meditate just on this sentence, what we read now. Uh, all day. Special in the association of like minds. A lot more options. So I will just again read this. Where is Radha who is hard to perceive by following the Vedas? And where is Krishna who always lives in between her bad like breasts? I just remembered one dream I had a long, long time ago. And this was maybe a sign for me, but I didn't understand it at that time. Now it came to me, maybe this was something I didn't understand. But I was like outside walking on the street, and far away I heard Kirtan. And I was thinking, oh, if there are Vaishnavas there, Radha and Krishna are there. So I went towards that sound. So I came there, there were devotees singing. And then I turned, left or right, I forgot. I turned and there was a big murti of Radha. But just Radha. Yeah. Oh. You are alone? Where is Krishna? And this I remember. I, I didn't... Uh, I don't remember after. But, but interestingly, now when I think about it, this was even before I knew about Radha Dasya. So maybe this was some small sign. <laughs> Who is my first, you know? I mean, Krishna... Uh, how We'll see now that Manjaris love Krishna, but mostly because Radical as him. But, but we can also see that who they will say, they are same. Radha and Krishna. There is no Radha without Krishna. There is no Krishna without Radha. Yeah. So here says and why do the manjaris love Krishna? Because He's Radharani's gallant. <laughs> remember, Krishna in this Raja, Raja forest, uh, remember Krishna in this Raja forest as the Pranavalaba. Pranavalaba. What means Pranavalaba? Prana means life and Valaba means dear, beloved, yeah? He is more loved than life. Prana Valaba of my Swami. So remember Krishna in this Raja forest as the Prana Valaba of my Swami. No. Because we are doing. She rather said, says. Yeah? It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. yeah we can re repeat this. Sri Radharani says, if you want to see my Sundara, my beautiful Krishna, you must take full shelter of my lotus feet. But here we can see, depending why we want to see Sundara Krishna. In this verse, Manjari, as Tulsi, Manjari doesn't want to see Krishna in a way of a friend who is in competition with that. She 
she wants to see Krishna. As Radhika's Pranavalada. She wants to see Krishna as, his, as Radhika's Pranavala. That's the way. But Radharani, of course, gives the way to see Krishna. If we take shelter of her lotus feet. So, saying, after, in continuation, it's saying, first Radha, then Shyama. That's why you have Radhe Radha Mohan, Radha, first. When Krishna makes any trouble, will take him by the hand and throw him out of the Kunja. Why? Because for us Radhika is first. Sorry. You will not make trouble. <laughs> if you make trouble, go out. We don't want you here if, if you are a troublemaker. Because why? What we were talking before. When we love someone, we want to see that person happy. And this is the natural that we want to protect that person from troublemakers like Krishna. If he makes trouble, sorry, get out. <laughs> Not just that, they take him by the hand <laughs> and pull him out. But of course, we also re read a few days ago, that Radhika sometimes makes a hint to come out. Like, she looks towards Manjari and Manjari knows what Radhika wants. And Manjari comes, Krishna, come, get out. <laughs> you will not bother my Swamini. <coughs> Come later when you learn to behave. <coughs> but of course, <coughs> when they separate, <coughs> they start to feel <coughs> their separation. <coughs> and Radhika is first man, <coughs> angry, you know. And after, of course. How long you can stay angry on someone who you, who you love? If you do not love the person, you can stay angry forever. But if you love someone, anger quickly goes and then you start to think, oh, maybe I was too heavy on him or her. And then the feeling starts to come, oh, I want to be with that person again. I don't want to have this feeling of separation. We, we all had, for example, with our loved ones, we had fights. And in the moment when we fight, we are angry. But after that comes the feeling, like, we don't want this, because even if we are not fighting anymore, there is separation. There's a feeling of separation. And we, want, we don't want that. So we are thinking a way how to come back close together. How can I approach back to this person? Maybe apologize. Maybe say something, do something nice, that we will come back together. And that that episode will be finished. <coughs> so Radhika also wants to get back with Krishna. 
and Manjaris know that. And Krishna, of course, he also wants to get back with Radha. We know how many things Krishna did through Lilas to get close to her. She, he even disguised himself as Manjari. <coughs> of course, uh, if there was no such thing, it would be boring. You know? uh, Krishna, in a sense, likes to, to, to strive and to fight for her attention. Because, it, you know, if she was always so attentive, it, like maybe Chandrava is like that. Oh, I'm yours. You do whatever you want, and I will always be yours, and I will obey you. And and no matter what you do, if you leave me, I'm always yours. But Radharani says, go out, <laughs> get away. And then Krishna needs to endeavor to lean over her heart again. Because uh, yeah, it's more um, rasic, it's like sweet. It's, you have to. He has to fight. He has. He has uh, some uh, something uh, very intriguing, interesting to do. You know, it's like challenging. Challenging. Yes, that's the right word. Challenging. He has challenges. If there are no challenges, life becomes boring. Right. So uh, that's why Krishna is this left wing. Those who are always opponents, those who are always um, like like to fight. You know, like Lalita, she is throwing so much uh, like like uh, uh, like nasty jokes or some kind of. Um, she's always she's even expert in swearing. You know, cursing, like like how you call those psovki. <laughs> Cursing, yeah. Cursing. Yeah. You know, those are like 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 bad <laughs> language, you know. <laughs> they don't she doesn't behave always so nice. Like oh see, no. she calls him different uh, creative uh, bad names. You know? <laughs> Very creative bad names. <laughs> but he likes it actually. Because when we say to Krishna, get lost, get out <laughs> Radhika doesn't want to see you. Um, it's not really uh, bad, you know. It's, it's maybe in some kind of a joking way, a little bit. Even when they say, get out. But still, it's like, you naughty one, you know. You won't bother Radhika. But it's, it's, when you say that, when we all say like this, we all laugh. Did you notice? We all laugh. Because we actually love them. But we laugh because it's more fun this way. Yeah, thank you. Uh, <coughs> why did you say that? Yes, yes. I just wanted to, uh, just on, the, on hers, why there, there, there is a must of this pull and push? Yeah. For example, to have a good movie, you need to have a hero, character, who have his life in certain way. Then, he must come into some problem. Then, he needs to meet a guru or someone who will help him, mentor, who will help him to solve this problem. And then he has two choices. If you will follow the mentor, you will have one result. If not, you will have other results. You know? And this is the plot of the movie. It happens that, like for example, actor or uh, hero in the movie Comes into his, his life is beautiful, everything, and suddenly something happens. And now he needs to fight. He's in problems. What I will do? 
And then he made a mentor. He told him, listen, if you want to do this, you need to do this. But he told him to listen immediately. He tries his own way. And then he cannot. And he comes back to his mentor guru and says, oh, you are right. You know, I tried my way. It didn't work. Can you help me? And the mentor then helps. And happy ending. Contrast. 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 Full of contrast. This is important. Would you watch a movie if I tell you? You know, in this movie, the character lives happy life. All is great. All is nice. And then, it's still nice. All is still beautiful. Everything is beautiful. And this continues like for two, three hours, movie. And you know how it ends the movie? All is good. <laughs> Who would watch this movie? My funny. Then it's In first five, first five minutes, you would see the whole movie. You don't need to watch till the end. Because it's boring. And that's life. That's life, that's a nature. Need for security, like all is good, but the need for insecurity. This means we don't know what will be, what will happen. You know? Like opposition, opposite. Balance. Balance, yes? Between these two. So that's why in their world it's necessary to have this. Because, because of this, interest is there. Rasa grows more. Like when you are watching a movie that have good plot, oh, you want to move your are we are like this on our toes. What will happen next? It's a uh, it's game. Uh, it's game. But game, when this game is interesting, only if secret is present. If so, he doesn't know what yeah. will be, then it's interesting. If you know in game everything, game is finished. <laughs> yes. Uh, did someone send something? No, low battery is written. Low battery. Oh, low battery. Uh, check that the uh -huh. battery is. Uh, 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 power, power. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. That's working. If, if in one moment we disappear, do you know that the battery was finished? Was it the You know, I just wanted to add, you know, in a movie, you, you can even predict when, when you know that something very idyll idyllic uh, happens and everything is beautiful and nice, so no one expects anything. You already know there is something uh, contradictory which is going to happen, you know. Uh, or if there is too much bad, 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 some solution must happen. Because this contrast needs to happen over and over again to make it more interesting, actually. I had that about mom, she was about this mom. Um, her mom is like jail for her loving feelings. Her mom is like jail. Jail? Yeah. For your most jail. fundamental uh, rules. Exactly. Mood. Oh, okay. She wants makes Krishna happy. But for this purpose, she must be with him. But the man is not alone. It's like man is like jail for this main uh, mood, mm -hmm. loving mood. And she, uh, it's what uh, the uh, uh, explain. Yes, if someone f uh, have love for someone, he can be angry. It's natural. Look, in different situation, but it couldn't be a long time because of loving mood. And what I heard from in different stories, yes, sometimes Shimadaradika have man, 
it's this man has different kinds. First of all, it can has reason or haven't reason. Hetuka or ahetuka. Hetuka means some reason, ahetuka without reason. And Krishna can easily overcome ahetuka means without reason. Mm. But if reason is present and strong, then really Krishna is desperate. And he needs help of others to overcome her man. She needs to overcome man and he needs to overcome her man. But without thought, but mental. In, yeah, mental. <laughs> no possible. Sometimes mental is with chakra. In many cases, with manjari. Without the assistance, just only suffering. <laughs> this man so strong, so strong, but even nice, beautiful, soft Raja becomes like desert with torn bushes. No grass, no sweet flowers, nothing. Just, you know, this land which is, has net. Yeah, cracks. Cracks and torn bushes without leaves and flowers. Mm. This is because Vraja is extension of Radhika, Humur. It is really in mind. Krishna looks at this type of Vraja and, and he's feeling, whoa, whoa. He feels so much dead dangerous. Why that? Because without her he couldn't believe. If he sees such strong Manishimatrika just by his external features of Raja, his heart like is, wow, what I did? How can I survive now? How can I get her now? It seems impossible. Who can help me? Please help me, Mandu Mangal, tell me. You know astrologers. Please calculate. If I have some opportunity, please tell. And he's calculating, calculate. Yes, yes, you know. And but when he's calculating, Krishna is so eager. Please, please tell me result. Wait, wait, wait. And then ultimately he said, yes, special branch help you. What does mean special branch? In Sanskrit in their language, special branch means the chakra. In this moment, the chakra is coming. Because she sees her girlfriend, Shimatradika, really big problem. Because she knows her heart. She wants to be with Krishna, but her man not alone. He's in jail of man. And now she's do, thinking how to help him come out from this jail. And now he is mentor for Krishna. He is coming to help him, to give him idea how to overcome this. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Manjari can learn from the Shaka. I heard from Shilnaren, the son Maharaj. What in Raja is school of love. Shimatradika is a chief of the school and her eight girlfriends is, how to say, Zavidushi uh, Kafedra, who a leading particular subject in this mm -hmm. school. Different, like, uh, department of yeah, love. Yeah. Chiefs of department. <laughs> yeah, chiefs yeah. of department, yeah. Mishaka also <coughs> chief of particular department. And Manjari learning that, I heard from Shilnarim Gassamaraj. For example, from Meshaka, Manjari can learn how to joke, for example, how to sing. From Lalita, how to dress. How to speak. And how harsh to speak words. harsh words. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> from Champakalata, how to cook sweet things. Mm. From Chitra, Saki, how to write in secret way. And how to paint. And how to paint, yeah, how to paint. Yeah. 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 So, when Krishna makes any trouble, we'll take him by the hand and throw him out of the kunja. We are the maid servants of Radha. Why do Kinkaris love Krishna? Because he is the lover of Radharani. There is one one point here. Um, why do why do the kinkaris love Krishna? There is some reason why they love Krishna. 
Only because he is the lover of Prajapati. And uh, I heard Vinod Baba, he explained the words of Manjaris in the way that if Radharani will uh, love one stone, the Manjari will like this stone in the same way like they, they like Krishna, only because it is uh, dear to Radhika. So this is so special position of Manjaris. Uh, you know, in this material world, uh, here is the material world. The transcendental world is the soul who is attracted with super soul. No? <coughs> so the gopi and the soul is naturally attracted with Krishna. And this is very natural. But here position of, of Manjari is even Trans transcendental of the transcendental world. So it is the something that is in the world. Indescribable. 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 Yes. So this is the secret which is not described even in, in the Veda, what we said, it, but is become a, a available somehow or another by appearance of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Who have mood of Radhika and Radhika wants to give his love, her love to everyone, to Krishna, and there is so much love that is uh, inund inundate everyone. Yes. I heard. <coughs> I heard from Shilmarambi Samaharaj, he told, because of this love, Manjari's love for Radha, they see everything by her eyes. If something she is considered as auspicious, they also think it's auspicious. Mm -hmm. Also feel, not just in the feel, it's auspicious. Mm -hmm. If she sees something not auspicious, they also see or, or feeling not auspicious. She sees Mother Yashoda as her mother, and King Kali also think, uh, Yashoda is our mother. Nanda Baba means our father, like this, everything. Chandra was very bad. <laughs> because it's feeling on Shiva, Shiva Tiradi. Chandra was very bad. <laughs> and this is the meaning, no? Of the, when it's described that they are like a shadow, they are the same. Mm -hmm like Radhika in the feelings and, and the, the body and er everything. They are, they are actually the limbs, you can say limbs of, of the body of Radharani. Uh, limbs of the body uh, going on in the same moment when we desire. There is no there is no delay. So it's described like the shadow. Even if I somehow I don't like this uh, shadow because it automatically reminds the dark, dark shadow. And it doesn't exist. It's golden shadow. In the sense that they move in the same moment. Maybe extension. Yeah. Yeah. Or yeah. I don't know, for me, this uh, <coughs> uh, comparison to this uh, flower of Tulsi, you know, that has like a domain, mm -hmm. uh, in, uh, like a pine cone. Stem? Stem, stem mm -hmm. yeah. And then many flowers are on this one stem. Mm -hmm. You have seen like, how it looks like. So there are open flowers. Mm -hmm. One is the most open flower. Mm -hmm. And there are those little buds who are a little bit open, more open. <coughs> and there are, on, on the top, they are completely closed buds. On the, of the same flower. So this is all the same flower. This whole flower is, and the stem, and this one most open flower is Radharani. But all these sakis are a little bit open flowers also, and then less open flowers are these older or manjaris or younger gopis, shall we say. And up to this most closed flowers on the top, 
They are these youngest kinkaris. So, but they all belong to the same flower. And whatever this main flower that is most open feels, they automatically, all of them, they feel everything. Because they are the same flowers, just as this one, biggest one is the most open, but they all belong to the same flower. So, they don't even have to learn, basically. This learning is just a play. But they don't have to learn because automatically whatever this big flower feels, they all feel because they belong to this one flower. That's natural. And, and that's why whatever Radhika thinks and she wants, they automatically, it will appear in their mind. They will not even think why, they will know, ah, I just have to do this and I do this. And I, they don't even think why they need to do it. And all falls into place uh, nicely because this manjari just thought, I need to pour water. And, and she put this water, for example. I'm just giving this example. She pours the water and puts it there. And then suddenly Lalita comes, oh, and Radharani just needs water. Poof. And she takes it, you know. And you didn't even think why you need it. You just had the feeling you need to do this, you know. And it all is orchestrated perfectly. Uh, I've seen this in the temple many times here, five years ago, that devotees just come to the temple room in the morning all dressed in the same color and they even don't know why they dressed in the same color. Not one color, but a certain combination I've seen, maybe yellow and purple. They don't know. And I, I was going there asking each of them, why did you get dressed like this? Why did you get dressed like this? We don't know. We just had a feeling to get dressed. And then the altar opens and Radha Mohan are yellow and purple, you, you understand? This is, they dic dictate things, Radha Mohan or Radharani, and they just don't even think why they do certain things. And they, get, get, they get dressed in a certain way because just they have this feeling, today I like it. And, yeah. and then today, we get dressed like this, and then we all see another woman dressed in the same way. So those who got dressed like that, they were in tune, right? It that doesn't mean that you are, if you don't dress like that, you are not in tune, of course, I didn't mean to say, say that. But uh, this is just an example of how everything falls into place naturally, everything happens naturally, because we are parts of the same plant. And if the big plant, big flower, feels certain way, all of these little flowers and buds will feel automatically the same. <laughs> Can I say to you just what you said? That actually, this <coughs> color of the, the same tune mm -hmm. of the colors, uh, this is the color of our feeling and our armor. If we are in this, so we are for sure in the same mm -hmm. colors combination. If, even if we, if we don't know why, but this it's become our nature because of Radharani. So otherwise, it will not be Sanjati Sangha if we will not be colored by the same color. Mm -hmm. So you're right. We, we are the same color. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 How it functions, but we all have experiences that it functions here similarly. That we are guided, and depending on how much we are listening to that guidance, uh, we are guided. Oh, now turn left, now turn right, or go to that person. Sometimes we say some things which after we are, when we think, oh, why we said that? But this was important to say to that person. I could name many examples where we didn't know why we had to go somewhere. 
And then it happened that it was so much important that we came there to meet certain people that we will get from them what we need in that moment or, not or, and that they will get from us what they need in that moment. That's the beauty. Their plan, Rahadika's plan, here and there, it's not just one purpose, but multiple, countless purposes, perfectly synchronized to happen. Our experience going to Radakund this time, every time there was no plan. If it was a plan, it didn't. We have general plan our, but usually it doesn't end up the way we want. But, but the way she wants, and it's more better. <laughs> so much more better to meet certain people, to get the answers without asking. <coughs> Some answers maybe we had from the questions we had from before. We get the answers. And not just that, that those people who we met got something from us, what they needed at the moment. Because Radhika connected us on, on the path. So, uh, just want to add that uh, this is like uh, the the meaning of how of being in the flow. This this what he gave as an example. I just want to add that when you are in the flow, you stop fighting and resisting those so-called obstacles, so-called obstacles, because I've seen yesterday. Uh, for example, our idea was to sit by the Radhakun and be in meditation, of course. Uh, it was possible for really a short time. At a certain point, two little girls came completely bothering us uh, with something, trying to sell these little uh, lamps for puja. And they were so bothering that they, we couldn't really sit there anymore. We had to get up and leave. And then instead of, if you start fighting and, and thinking, ah, oh, such a disturbance and so bad, blah, blah, blah. Okay, you can think in that way, but still you behave the way it was planned. Because the plan was that Radhika, Radhika is sending her messengers to kick us out from this place because at that moment we, we've got to be in another place to meet some certain person that if we don't get there at that moment this person will go away. So these two girls came just at the right moment to, to make disturbance for us so that we would get up and go away to this other place where we were supposed to meet this other person. And if we think this way, okay, stop resisting, this mu there must be some hidden reason in these two girls coming to disturb us, then you are no longer um, disturbed in your heart, you just Ah, you recognize, okay, oh, this is yeah, some guidance now, mm. let's go. This means that Rani wants us to move from this place and, and walk away to some other place. Because if we, are, we, we remember that everything around Radakund is the land, the trees, the plants, the kids, those, there's a bothering elements, right? Of course, we can see in the external uh, sense that they are, these are bothering elements and the, there are so many beggars there. But in this inner sense, you can, you can think, okay, they're just puppets of Radhika. They're puppets. And, and she is the 
puppeteer yeah, who is holding to, everyone on strings to, and moves yeah. this puppet this yeah. way, the other puppet yeah. that yeah. way. Yeah. And you are, will be also guided from within yeah. your heart yeah. whether yeah. to yeah. just ignore some of the puppets yeah. <laughs> or yeah. get yeah. into a conversation yeah. with yeah. some yeah. of them. Yeah. Uh, because yeah. She is also guiding you from within. And then, even when you are disturbed in your heart, this is also guided. Because you are supposed to be disturbed, that was the plan, so that you would get up and <laughs> go to this other place. Nothing is uh, happening without the guidance and arrangement of this case. is the main uh, Arranger. Of course, she has her messengers, many of them. Many of them come in disguise. <laughs> That's what I wanted to add. This, this <coughs> synchron, synchronized <coughs> movement, <coughs> no? I think that we will be always synchronized if we have the main ingredients in the spiritual life, which which are for sure the eagerness and love. If we have that, we will be always be synchronized. If we have eagerness to serve the goddess of love, we will always be synchronized with everybody. If I want to satisfy uh, my wife without by, by putting in my heart only her, I will never be able to satisfy yes, her. Yes, my yes, yes, my, yes, my Ishtadev, Radhika, which is goddess of love, then it will be possible somehow or another because I'm synchronized and not I'm what's doing, but it's Radharani who is doing. She, she knows how to do it and she has capacity to do it. He do all the time with Krishna, he's is complete disruption, so missed to her. So, some of the drops. It will, it will overwhelm also all around. So, never, never, there is no scarcity. There is no scarcity of love and uh, if we put Ishtadev in our heart, so because of that I think Gurudev also uh, uh, underlined the Ishtanishta. And after Ishtanishta, Svarupanishta. So we are part of this uh, spiritual atmosphere. Mm -hmm. We are made, made servants. We become part of the body of Radharani's chest. And after that, uh, Guru Nishta, because we understand why, what he wants to give me. And I receive that. And because of that, I will never remember. I will not never be able to forget my Guru. Only because of that. Otherwise, we cannot understand, really, who is Prabhupada, who is Naran Maharaj, who is Ananda Das Babaji, who is our Guru. But we can recognize by mood and by feelings. So, this is what I feel now. <coughs> Yeah, this shows us that we are always guided. Nothing, nothing was by accident. Because <coughs> when we look our lives back, we can understand everything was important. Those who came through Prabhupada, wow. we can be just grateful that Prabhupada came into our lives with his books, his con. Without that part, we wouldn't be here. Everyone on our path is important. Even I will put quote and quote enemies, people who we didn't like, who gave us trouble. Like in this example, Sometimes to change in life, we need to get change course in life, yeah, or change yourself, your ways as fast as possible. Change yourself, yeah, as fast as possible is to be upset that somebody makes you uneasy, upset, or uncomfortable. This is sometimes important. 
And in the other point, yesterday, I remember Shiva Prada and me, we were so much upset with us. But she said, oh, this is a sign that we need to go from here. She, she, she remembered immediately, this is a sign that we need to go from here. And we didn't understood it at the moment, why? But we get up and went. And then we met one person which really was great meeting, incredible meeting, one proud of disciples. And also, it was really a great meeting, nice conversation. And in a way, we found out about Prabhupada to, to respect him even more, to love him even more. And this was important also for us and for that person who was feeling there that nobody wants to talk with him. And Radhika sent us. Yeah, so <laughs> it's nothing by accident. And this person is actually in the end of his life. He had cancer all over his body and he came to live with his body. So for him, maybe our conversation was important. Because we were talking also about living a body. And like that Radhika carried him. After Atradika, I mean, yes, whoever will carry him. Yeah. Okay, just shortly because we need to finish. Yeah, just, just shortly to add. When, when we, at the end, we uh, told him, now we will pray to Radha and Krishna to, when, back when your moment comes, we just take and embrace you. And he started almost to cry. And he was so thankful. You know? and, he, and he heard that we said that we want to pray that Radha Krishna take him, take him and embrace him when he's leaving. He was so touched by that and this is what he needed to hear. Yeah. So this was important. And Radhika pushed us. She didn't say in the same words. She sent those she said, girls, I remember two boys, but everybody sees who they see. <laughs> Maybe she saw Manjaris. I, I saw two boys there. Uh, but two boys. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And uh, uh, but we were pushed. They came there to, to be so much pushy, boring, we had to go. And that's why Sashnai is the Radhika guides. And this also is connected with Manjari. Manjari feels Radhika, and especially because they're totally connected with Radhika, they know. They know Radhika wants me to do this. Radhika wants me to do this. Or she needs this. She needs that. She wants that I kick out Krishna out of the Kunja. Or she she wants that I go and get Krishna because she wants him back. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is the meaning of the uh, all Lord uh, the prayer. All Lord. Uh, Make me instrument of your love. Oh yeah. So beautiful. So who more than other can be instrument to love? Make me the instrument of your love. Wow. I'm getting goosebumps on this because makes us instrument of your love towards you but also towards all others. That's the point, that's the beauty, it's beauty in this. Love in action. Love in action, yes. Love is not a noun. What? It's not a noun. It's not a noun, it's a verb. Meaning action. 
Мы можем. Да, да, да. 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 Да,